by request how I did my cookie cutter butterfly painting the other day. So what you need are your watercolors. I prefer the palettes or the cakes or pan, however you want to do it. Find your favorite cookie cutter and a nice brush like this. It's got some body to it and it'll hold a lot of paint and it'll get into the corners of your cookie cutter. So what you want to do, and this is super easy, but what you want to do is you want to wet your paper a little bit where you're putting your cookie cutter. Hold your cookie cutter down and then just pick your colors and just hold it in there. Don't move it around. And you can make your butterfly or whatever your cookie cutter is. This is asked from the cameraman. Um, could you hold, could, is there any external way you could hold down the butterfly, with the, the cookie cutter, without using your hands? If you had a cookie cutter that you could weigh down, you could definitely put a weight on it. And then what you do is you lift it up, and there's your watercolor cookie cutter painting. Now what you can do as a variation is you could do a lightly painted background. And then you can drop your cookie cutter on there. And then give yourself some different colors for fun. I don't know why I like purple and blue butterflies today, but I just do. And you can make it as dry or as wet as you want, but if you want it to look a little like stained glass and have that butterfly sort of feel, then wet is good. And after it dries, you could go in with pencil crayons or pastels and do a little bit of detail. And then it'll flow just a little bit into the background to give you a soft focus feel. So there you go. Cookie cutter watercolor paintings. Easy as that.